In this video, I am going to tell you about French Revolution. If you have not subscribed my channel, so subscribe it to get the another notification of my videos. So come on French Revolution. In 1774, Louis XVI of the Bourbon family of kings ascended the throne of France. He was 20 years old and married to the Austrian princess Mary Antoinette. Upon his accession, the new king found an empty treaty. Long years of war had drained the financial resources of France. Added to this was the cost of maintaining an extra virgin court at the immense palace of Versailles. Under Louis XVI, France helped the 13 American colonies to gain their independence from the common enemy Britain. The war added more than a billion libraries to a debt that had already risen to more than 2 billion libraries. Lenders who gave the state credit now began to charge 10% interest on loan. So the French government was obliged to spend an increasing percentage of its budgets and interest payments alone. French society in 18th century was divided into three states. First state or first society was clergy. The second state was nobility, means wealthier people or landlord. The third society was big businessmen, merchants, officials, lawyers, peasants, landless labor, servants, and only members of third state paid taxes. The members of first two states, thus its clergy and nobility, enjoyed certain privileges by birth. These included feudal dues, which they extracted from peasants. Peasants were obliged to render services to the Lord, to work in his house and field, to serve in the army, or to participate in building clothes. The church, too, extracted its share of taxes called tithes. And the third states pay taxes to state. These included a direct trust called Telle. The poor fellow brings everything, crane, fruits, money, slab. The population of France rose from about 23 million in 1715 to 28 million in 1789. This led rapidly increased the demand for food grains. Production of grain could not keep pace with the demand. So the price of bread, bread which was the staple judge of majority, rose rapidly. Most workers were employed as a laborer in workshop, whose owner fixed their wages. So the gap between the poor and rich widened. This led, this led to a subsistence crisis, something that occurred frequently. In France, during old regime, in addition of merchants and manufacturers, the third state including professions such as lawyer and administrative officials, all of these were educated and believed that no group in society be privileged by birth. Rather, a person's social position must depend on his merit. The news that Louis XVI planned to impose further taxes to be able to meet the expenses of the state generated anger and protested against the system of privilege. On 5th May 1789, Louis XVI called together an assembly of the state's journal to pass proposals for new taxes. A resplendent hall in Versailles was prepared to host the delegates. The first and second state sent 300 representatives each, who were, scattered, who were seated in rows, facing each other on two sides, while the 600 members of the third state had to stand at the back. The state was represented by its more prosperous or educated people. Peasants and women were denied entry to assembly. However, their demands and grievances were listed in some 40,000 letters which their representatives had brought with them. Voting a state journal in the past has been conducted according to the principle that each state had one vote. But members of the third state demand 
demanded that voting now be conducted by the assembly as whole when each member had one vote but the king rejected this proposal so the member of third state walked out of the assembly in protest on 20th june the assembly the assemble sorry on 20th june the assemble in a hall of an indoor tennis court in the ground of versailles they declared themselves as national assembly they were led by mirabio and abcs mirabio was born in noble family and abcs originally a priest while the national assembly was busy at versailles drafting a constitution the rest of the france seized with turmoil as so with had been for harvest price of bread rose after bakers after bakers exploited the situation and hoarded supplies on 14th july the agitated crowd stormed and destroyed the fort of bastille faced with the power of his revolting subject louis 16 finally accorded recognition to the national assembly and accepted the principle that his power would from now on be checked by constitution on the night of august 4 1789 the assembly passed a decree abolition the feudal system of obligation and taxes members of clergy too were forced to give up their privilege the national assembly completed the job the constitution in 1791 its main object was to limit the power of monarch this power instead of being concentrated in the hands of one person were now separation and assigned to different institution the legislature executive and judiciary this made france constitutional monarchy according to the new constitution however voting was restricted to active citizens only means only men age above 25 years and those pay taxes equal to at least 3 days of a labor wage remaining men and women were classed as passive citizens who did not have any political right the constitution of 1791 gave political rights only to the richest section of society the members without jacobin club belonged mainly to the less the summer of 1790 of the society the jacobin plan small shop and construction of a large number of suggestion maker watch maker by short supplies as well as high prices of and daily wage work on the morning of 10th the leader was dismissed from the palace of tuileries as they were massacred the king's court and held the king's himself as hostage for several hours later the assembly voted to imprison the royal family on 21st september 1792 declared france as republic louis 16 was sentenced to death on charge of treason and was publicly executed on 21st january 1793 the jacobin leader robespierre ruled ruthlessly from 1793 to 1794 han and his region was known as region of terror In July 1794, Robespierre was convicted of excessivism and executed on Clotin. The fall of Jacobin allowed the wealthier middle class to seize the power and rule through an executive made up of five members called Directory, formed 26 October 1795. However, the frequent clash of directors with legislature counseled to political instability. This paved the way for the rise of military dictatorship under Napoleon Bonaparte, who ended Directory in 1799 and became the first consul and later crowned himself as the Emperor of France. In 1804, he set one to conquer neighboring European countries, dispossessing dynasty, and creating kingdoms where he placed members of his family. He finally defeated at Waterloo in 1815. The legacy of freedom, equality, fraternity, and emerge out of French Revolution remained the inspiring ideals of the following world. Slavery was finally abolished in 1848 from all the colonies of France. Women found their own way to get right to vote in 1946 in France. 
I hope you understand what is French Revolution and you like it. So subscribe my channels and share.